This video was brought to you by a better planner, Ken Power, Marcus Biel, Stormberg, and Bill Componente. Yo, what's up? Today I'm gonna show you guys some uh, FUD. Yeah, what the heck is FUD again? Yeah, but okay, it's fair and uh, whatever. Uh, but but it's just pure lies from the sun. Yes. So uh, the sun is some kind of UK website. I'm not sure what the heck it is. I haven't never heard of it, but lots of people spam me about this. So um, yeah, the, the, the plot here is that um, the sun apparently took my video without my permission and they posted it on the web on the website and they made a story about when I, well, okay sorry i'm a little bit um yeah i'm a little bit on the slow internet here or 4g but okay so you see that um, there is a part of the the zero mile test i did and then you just skip a little bit here um yeah there's a zero mile test um actually they only they only show from the video from the zero mile test but the strange thing is that they stitched together my range test and my zero mile test and the headline is like ev nightmare you know i drew an ev until the battery went down like a rocket i was stranded uh yeah yeah so it's like clickbait the uh thumbnail and clickbait the uh, title and you want to see what the heck is going on here and then so uh, you can read the whole uh, story here you see okay um oh yeah by the way uh, when it comes to using my video okay you can say well is this um what do you call it um uh, fair use um I'm not sure, but, but they use my whole video with sound. Uh, so normally you would only maybe use a little bit of clip, like a, a little part, and then uh, maybe you, you have your own voice, you're explaining something, a voiceover. Uh, but here they actually use my own video with sound and everything, and a, a quite big portion of it. Unfortunately, this is outside of YouTube, so I cannot claim, uh, do a, send a copyright claim to take, uh, to, you know, request a takedown. But they have just YouTube Bjorn on here. So it's, it's borderline whether this is uh, under fair use or not. But uh, when it comes to fair use, yes, then you can just use it without asking for permission. I mean, that happens all the time. I think even MKBHD took a clip from my videos and showed something about Model X a long time ago. But you see that then he was talking about something tesla and then he just used my clip so that's fine and he only i think he only used around 10 seconds of my clip so no big deal but here is is more or less like they take my content and then they're making a story out of this with full of lies and or they they manipulate the story uh to whatever they want uh to whatever they they, they want the, the audience to believe and they're making money on it so i'm gonna give them the same medicine i'm gonna make money on my channel by uh making fun of the sun okay so yeah uh, the, the the thing is that um okay but at least they say Bjorn, you know, okay they have that one and then they, they have a youtube but you know these links by the way these links this one does not go to my youtube channel you know this link does not you can see it at the bottom here this is the sun something youtube is at the bottom there this is be what all the links go to goes to the sun some shit doesn't link directly to my channel which is in my opinion that is uh, that is bad uh, uh, bad behavior you know uh, to be in a, like a gentleman's agreement would be okay if you use my video use my content you should at least link to my video and or even better you should link directly to my video not link to this shit uh, probably also they probably also have um, have some ads here yeah uh, i have ad blockers so i don't see that shit but okay um yeah so here you see yeah so he took up uh, to three to a range drive test what, what, what the heck is that how well it can perform okay and uh motors expert <laughs> yeah but you know this is uh, no it's not true uh, when i did the range test I did it to measure the battery capacity. They, they mix up the range test with a zero mile test, because this is when I draw it until it died. Yeah, so, but they, so they manipulate the story uh, to make EVs look bad. That, that's what I'm uh, heading towards now. And yeah, I mean, yeah, I said this, you know, I'm gonna drive it until it's empty, but they make, as, they make it is as if I was testing the car uh, for range and then, uh, but it, it's actually a quite messy story they do because they, they just mix several, uh, yeah, two tests together. And all the stuff here, okay, I haven't double checked all of this. Oh, there's a typo, there should be a space between the, the, the unit and uh, the number. 
um, yeah, or what kind of journalist is this, by the way? Uh, they should, uh, at least journalist, yeah, Salma, okay, journalist should nail down the spelling and the, the grammar. Uh, it, it's different when you're just chatting on some instant messaging, but uh, when you write an article like this, you should nail down everything to be correct A, B, C, but okay. Um, blah, blah, yeah, you can, uh, yeah, this, uh, uh, plumbing and a shocking, he, they, they, you know, he over dramatized everything. Yeah, there was some on the range test, yeah, suddenly the range dropped quickly, but it wasn't that crazy high or anything like that. So, yeah, okay, and uh, blah, 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 he just, uh, also, this, every time there's a link, there's just a link to the sun. Okay, power limit, okay. So, uh -huh. And then this one also, yeah, I was like, it comes as the same motorist previously bought an EV and drove it. What is this shit, man? Stop lying. Stop lying. I did not buy. I can see on the link there, Kia Niro. You're going to look at it afterwards. I mean, I did not buy that Niro. I don't buy cars. I, I just, I borrow them. They are press cars. And then um, I test them. So... <laughs> Yeah, um, okay, well, whatever, whatever, uh, enough about this one. Okay, I'm gonna show you now. So this, this so-called journalist here, uh, from, okay, okay, he's a noob, he joined uh, last year only. And uh, City University of London, okay. But if you look at this, I now check out what articles did Salma write? And also, what kind of content is it on the sun, right? There's just full of shit here, man. Full of uh, EV hate. Okay, so if you scroll down a little bit, wait, wait, what is this? There's an ID3. I rented an electric car and hated it before I even got inside. Uh, okay, what's wrong? EV agony. I tested EV, which everyone hates. Okay, w w by the way, this one. Uh, okay, it's not the perfect car, the ID3, but still. Uh, it's quite popular. Lots of people love them. Uh, I have tested it up and down, left and right, went to the Arctic Circle. I tested it so much. It is a very good car. It is way above average. So if there is one dude who doesn't like it, fair and square, okay, but they try to make it look like this is a bad car and also they try to make electric cars look bad. Look at this. So here, okay, this one must the MX-30. I also tested it. Um, it's not that great, it charges slow, it has poor range, but it is cheap. So that's the thing that saves the day for the MX-30. Uh, the noise was horrible. What, what, no, what, was it that noisy? I don't remember. Um, okay, if you keep scrolling. Um, okay, there's some other stuff here, but go okay, well, next page, let me show you here. There, there is just so much crap here. Look at this. This is a Windfast electric car again. I test drove the worst EV ever. Uh, huh? Was it that bad? Uh, did you actually? Okay, so they, they already have a test drive for Windfast, but Windfast is not really out in production yet. What, what kind of, I mean, when I tried this car, it was just a pre-production thing. Things fell apart when I touched it. So what? I, I'm not sure what kind of stuff. They, I'm not going to click on everyone to, uh, every article. Just look here. Electric horror. You know, I'm an EV owner. My na nightmare will cool. What, what is this? It's, it's something about the Tesla. Okay. Um... Scroll down a bit. Uh, you, you can you can see, uh, and then also links to this channel. Yeah, uh, I wouldn't. You know, every time this guy uh, was him, uh, I don't remember his name again. But every time this guy talks about EV, it's always negative. He is also an anti-EV guy. Kimler or something. I think his name is. Um, yeah, here another video from me. That was the Auto Three. No wait, no, no, sorry. That, that, that was one. That was one. My bad. My bad. Um, Huh? Pushing it. I bought one of UK's mo most popular EV and I hate it. The battery runs out. Okay, I, I need to click on this one. What, what was up with this one again? Um, yeah, it's a Polestar 2. I'm actually just sitting in the Polestar 2 right now. I also tested the Polestar 2, 2 a lot. I like, seriously a lot. I went to the Arctic Circle. I've done 1000 km challenge. I tested so many different variants of Polestar 2. And the Polestar 2 is actually a very good car. The infotainment is awesome. But what kind of fud are they writing about the Polestar then? Okay, it might not have the best interior space, it's a bit cramped, but still the rest of the car is very good and they've been, Polestar had a great job of improving the car over the years. So, I, I don't know man, you guys can read all this shit. Um, 
uh, the, it's just the same, the same, uh, I don't know, the same hate about every electric cars they can find. Um, well, this is uh, interesting. No, 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 it's not electric, is it? Here, yeah, this is uh, my test again. EV agony, yeah, until it died. Yeah, but it wasn't the worst part, you know, so you can go click on it. Again, he's making money on my content and actually taking my own content and reposting it here. I wish there was a way for YouTube to uh, to actually send uh, claims uh, to other sites, but there isn't. Same when people uh, take my uh, steal my work and put it on uh, Facebook. Facebook has a really shitty uh, interface for uh, and, and kind of logistics for reporting stolen content. But um, yeah, just uh, scroll down a bit and okay, just m lots of other not interesting things. Go to the next one. See her. See her. A fat Taycan, sick and tired. Uh, yeah, I can, okay, maybe I should click on this one and show you uh, what was the deal with that one. I also read some of this stuff. So he, this guy apparently bought a Taycan. He doesn't have home charging and he was fed up with charging queues and, and that it took so long to charge it. I mean, come on, if you can afford a fat Taycan, you should be able to afford home charging. You know, you don't live in a dorm, right? So um, I'm not sure what, uh, what's the whole story about this. I didn't dig into too much of it, but it's just the same, the same negativity that, uh, yeah, you know, it took forever and uh, the EVs are bad. Okay, let's go back to this one. Okay, this one, this one is actually not negative. It's about Polestar discontinuing uh, fossil cars. And then there was more stuff. Uh, you just click here. There was uh, there was some good stuff also. Let me see. Yeah. Okay. That guy again. All right. Yeah. Well, it, it's a bit um, uh, funny that every time they talk about fossil cars, there is not uh, not too much negative stuff. But when it comes to EVs, yeah. For example. Yeah. For example, this one. Again, uh, hint from him. You know, five easy steps to jumpstart your car. Where it's it's a fossil car. You know. Yeah, and why do you have to jumpstart a fossil car in the, in the first place, right? Huh? <laughs> if you design fossil cars well, you shouldn't be able to jump jumpstart it. So they could have, if if I would write some negative shit about this, I would say, oh, these fossil cars, they they keep, uh, they, you, you, they, they get you stranded all the time because you have to jumpstart the car, the, the, the 12 volt battery dies, you know, it, it's, it's painful. I bought the fossil car and it kept, kept me stranded over and over again. I had to be rescued by a tow truck or you know, stuff like that. Yeah, but no, it's neutral because it's a fossil car, right? Okay, keep driving, keep, keep uh, scrolling. Oh, yeah, 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 here you see. What can you do? I bought an EV, this is a Peugeot E2008. Again, I tested it lots. I've been on, on a trip to Brune with it. I, I've tested it so much, man. And it's like, want to be sick out to queue for two hours to charge. <laughs> no, uh, so they only take uh, again. This is Fat Etron. I borrow an electric car. The biggest channel happened with a set, not a fan. You see, every time they can find some shit. Uh, what is this? Swap my Porsche EV for Suzuki Swift and love it. <laughs> oh, what? What? This this website web page is full of shit. I, I don't think it's only this guy. Uh, okay, I'm not gonna you know talk bad about it. I'm not going to do any personal attack on him. Uh, no no uh, uh, no offense, Salma. It's just that I'm attacking the sun. The sun, man. Uh, all the UK people now, you guys can join the chat and and <laughs> just uh, <laughs> type in the chat. I, holy shit, man, the sun. I, I need to make more videos about the sun. I need to make more money on them. So, man, this is... Uh, uh, how, how can they live in 2023 and, and try to, to spread false information about EVs, you know? In Norway, sales of EVs are rising. In China, they're already kicking ass for the Lord EVs. Many parts of, of the world now. It was, in U US, uh, Tesla, they had just insane sales numbers compared to the rest of the car industry when it comes to EV. But okay, but you see, Tesla is selling lots of cars. People want EVs. More and more car manufacturers are going electric. Polestar, like you saw, Polestar, Volvo, they're gonna cut out all the fossils eventually. 
we have BYD, one of the biggest car manufacturers in the world, pumping out lots of cars. Uh, Mercedes, they just went crazy, lots of electric models out there. You know, if EVs were that bad as Sun claims, why would car manufacturers build electric cars? Why would charge point operators build charging stations? It's just exploding, literally. Yeah, unlike fossil cars. Okay, but no, it's no fun internet. But you see, so, you know, all the myths about EV, like, okay, in the beginning, 10 years ago when I had Millennium Falcon, Norwegian uh, uh, people, they were like, ah, oh, rear wheel drive, lol, you know, heavy car, lol, is gonna get stuck in the ditch. Well, the rear wheel drive Model S's did not get stuck in the ditch, they just hammered the fossil cars. Uh, it was like, oh, the range is gonna be shit. No problem, we could drive quite far. Even with a few superchargers we had, we could even go across Norway, no problem. And then, oh, the batteries, are going to last just a couple of years and then the car is ready for the scrapyard. Again, uh, we have tested even 10 year old cars like Millennium Falcon or even, okay, the leaves, they're a little bit not that bad, I mean, not that good, but for example, E-Golf that is also getting close to 10 years old, they still have pretty good battery. They might have lost 20%, but that's because it's a cheaper car, smaller battery. But at least if you have bigger batteries like a Tesla, they, like, even after 10 years, after 300,000 kilometers of driving, which is roughly 200,000 miles, you still have only around 10 to 15 percent degradation, which is no problem. Fossil cars, I can talk a lot of shit about fossil cars, but I'm not going to do it. They lose horsepower over time. They cost a lot to maintain. They also catch fire a lot more than electric cars. But, you know, uh, I'm not going to... In my, I mean, in my channel, I will not uh, spew bad shit or I will not talk too much shit about fossil cars. We know already how bad they are, that electric cars are superior. But the sun, man, the sun, they need some... Yeah, um, we, I will, okay, if you guys are up for it, I can make more uh, videos about the sun once I find more stuff. <laughs> but, okay, so what do you guys think? Um, the sun, when they take my video and repost it, is that under fair use or is it actually stealing my uh, my content? And then what about the, the so-called news and the modification of the story, the manipulation by taking several tests and then, okay, technically uh, they are not lying or actually they could, well, actually they are lying because they, they claim that I bought a car. I mean, get the story right, man. I didn't buy uh, the Nero, I just borrow it. Uh, it actually doesn't matter if I bought it or not, and, but you, they just try to twist it in the way so it, it makes it as negative as possible. So, uh, but okay, anyway, um, yeah, now bring out the popcorn. So thank you guys for watching. I messed up the ending now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.